<laughs> so, Mr. Burden, tell me, I mean, how was the speech? I mean, are you exalted right now? Uh, yes, sir, no. Because there is too much of business to be done. Speaking is one thing and getting things done is other. He has to get to business right away and put things in the perspective and start solving the problems. In the history of the United States, we are at a point where economically, globally, politically, we are in turmoil. So unless he gets, mere words are not going to solve the problem. We need to get and do things. The first and foremost thing is to fix the economy. The stimulus package it does not reach the common man. What we need is the money percolates or goes down to the consumer level. Still it is at the level where banks are, in a way I believe, are holding the money. Unless they put the money into the pockets of the consumer, the economy is not going to move forward. So how many, uh, how many months, let's say, how many years maybe the Obama would need to prove himself under this condition? He has to get to business right away in terms of economic policies like foreclosures of houses, trying to work uh, contract this economic crisis in terms of job losses, in terms of home losses, in terms of everything that is there which contributes to the economic activity. And what about foreign policy? Foreign policy is pretty. The world is in brink of a, another major catastrophe from Al Qaeda and Taliban. It should right away get to work on controlling these forces. Whatever it needs to be done, they seem to be jubilant that Bush has gone. Bush is not the problem, the problem is them. The problem is terrorism. How Obama deals with it, perhaps its focus should be Afghanistan. That's where these guys are sitting. It doesn't mean we should run away from Iraq. You don't mean that Pakistan is not a problem? Yes, Pakistan, Iran. That's where the problem is. We need to fix it. See, we have four sets of government. The elected government, we have the military, we have the ISI, and we have the fourth one is the uh, parallel political groups or terrorist groups. So we have to, this is going to be a very complex situation. So we have to get to uh, business in controlling, especially in Northwest Frontier. The rulers there are themselves in a dilemma. What happens is... So but, uh, Obama in the past made aggressive speech for his Pakistan policy. Do you think that he should go that aggressive or he should, should take a more, more process? No, there is no reconciliation. Al-Qaeda does not know the word reconciliation or soft approach. What he did earlier, he has to continue with it. Or perhaps he has to live up to what he promised. Well, yes. that's what would be more appropriate because I think he promised a very tough... He has to deliver now. And he has to solve the problem. If we do not solve him, Obama does. This is long overdue. And what about India-US relationship during Obama tenure? How do you view it? Bush did a good job. Bush was friendly and I think Obama will also because if we fit into the US-America equation, it would be good for a global uh, relationship. So in that context, we'll do very fine if Obama continues with what Bush has done and perhaps he should go to the next level. Okay, thank you, sir.